What a morning. We woke up at 6.30 in the morning to go to all the way to the top of the mountain to get a sunrise. But it was raining so hard. We are in the car, luckily. So we didn't get anything. It was a waste of time. I could have priced up an extra hour. But it was, it was a good try. We are so bad with sunrises, though. Every time we try it, we always fail. Or the weather gets us. But we're going to go to uh, Quan's. Yes. Yeah, so I said. See, I said this like three other times. He's like, I said, Quan. So I said Juan every time. Yep. We're going to his bakery. We're going to his bakery right now. And we're gonna get some good coffee and maybe some good bread, I don't know. And now I don't even know what we're doing. I'm just gonna go with the flow. Juan! It smells good. It smells so good. What's Juan. up, fam? Hola! Buenos dias! Here we go. We made it. Thank God Cody knew how to get here. <laughs> we, uh, hey! We got a little lost trying to find this place. No, we, no, we didn't. Uh, we parked down in a little, uh, little center right there. Okay. This looks amazing. Yeah. It smells amazing. Check out their oven. It's a masterpiece. After you roll them up, they dip them in oil. Then they let them get lit up. It's amusing watching them, they're going so fast. This is a crazy experience right now. We, we just got here yesterday, we made friends, and now we're invited into a bakery and we're just baking with them in the morning. So give me a tutorial, dude. Okay, so I don't know how to do this either. All I know is that you roll up in flour here, and then you come down here, and you go one, two, you hit that shit. Yep. And then, and then all he does is go like this, and he, he, he forms like this like hole in the middle. And then this is what he does, this is where it gets tricky, ready? He goes like this, but he only rolls the top. He doesn't actually like roll it, roll it. And then he just... Boom! Almost. I think so, what do you think of that one? Eh? Better. Better, right? Better. After you roll them up, they dip them in oil. Then they let him get lit up. Mike's double fist. Oh, it's too much flour, too much flour. There you go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's just like buns. There you go. <clears throat> it actually looks like wands right there, that one. That one looks good. This one, this one. That one's okay, but that one's legit though. Let's Look at this cake with the bright colors. Whoa, look at that one. I'm about to try this. Look at this, watch this. Oh! These slices come from this. Oh. From the edges. Oh, That's the so edges. cool. I you like the corner mm. pieces that got cut off. Cake for breakfast. The frosting's amazing. The baker boys. <laughs> So I decided I'm actually going to quit YouTube and I'm going to start baking full time. The way he rolls it, it looks soothing. <laughs> I know, right? Right? I, I, you just watch him make bread forever. Yeah. It's like one of those fireplace channels. Yeah. 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 It just looks cool. Yeah, like it's just flowing. It's like a perfect See, thing. It's like a perfect technique. Yeah. This is done. <laughs> Except if you're doing it. Boom! That's how they look when they're done. Yes, the ones we first ori originally started baking. So the reason why we're doing like that, um, like the technique roll to put the hole in the middle is just for looks, to make the bread look cooler. Look. <coughs> like just in that thing in the middle is, is that roll we were trying to do. But it's just to make the this bread look cooler. Uh, we're making these it's interesting. Right here. Now he's gonna come up, look, he's weighing them. It's like a meat. Yeah. Like a piece of meat. So how heavy does it have to be? A A6. A6, okay. I mean, I mean one six. One six. I've never had fresh bread, like straight out the oven before. Um, I've been to bakeries, but I never woke up early enough to try the bread fresh. These are breads that we made ourselves. This is art. It's meaningful right there. And it is so good. I'm gonna become a real baker though. This inspiring me. Imagine opening up like my own bake shop in my town. That'd be, that'd be awesome. I don't know what to call it yet. Explorer's Bakery. Um, baking with Josh. Josh's Bakery. Give me some names in the comments below. 
Thank you. See you, man. See you. Have a nice time. It was fun. Thank you. It was a lot of fun. Never did anything like this before. We're learning new things every day. It's all part of the adventure. We're gonna keep going, road tripping it all day. What a what a nice surprise. Our car's blocked in. Oh, whoa. Yeah. The whole streets are blocked. How do we, we have to oh my get God. this truck to move? If we can get him to move quick and run down there, we're safe. Oh, it's because everyone's going to church. We gotta go check that church out. Is that one? I, th I don't know, I think so, but that church Today's that we went Tuesday. to was looked amazing from y yesterday in the vlog. To park. So, uh, she said we're gonna, she doesn't know who owns the white. The gray might be the owner of somebody inside the carniceria, like the meat, the meat spot in the market. This is the market. I was here when we got here. So they, she thinks someone inside the market owns it. The guy who owns the meat shop. So that's we have that one percent chance. Of, well, not really one percent, but we have to hopefully find the guy to move this truck, or else we're gonna be here for a long time. We might be trapped here. So we think the truck owner may actually be in here. This is gonna be a fun game. Nosotros tienen, no, nosotros tenemos un carro blanco en aquí en la plaza y no podemos sortir o salir. Hay un, hay un camión gris uh, enfrente. ¿Sabes quién es el dueño del de camión gris? No. Yeah. He, he, he said no. He said he, he didn't think he knew, but he's going to go look at the truck to see if he knows who the owner is. Oh, man. So, we're on a, this, is good. this could be a long search. Um, we only asked one person, so. We only asked one person. There's so much other people here. We'll just keep asking. I think our homie came through. Something. Something. He's, call, he's calling us. So, meat shop guy was super nice. He came out, looked at the car. He said, I don't think I know who the owner is, but they might live here. Which would make sense, because when we first parked here, the car was still here. Yeah, very early in the morning. So now we are ringing doorbells. <laughs> this oh, is like Clue. Here she comes with a baby. Oh, okay. Uh, it's like a reality TV show. Team is big, what's going on? Okay. Esto camión aquí? La cabeza? La gris, yeah. Si. Es nuestro aquí y no podemos salir. Es posible... Gracias, gracias. Gracias. We found the owner? Yeah. Hey! She's baby in the World Award. Ah, that's how we do it. It's only 9 a.m. and all this is just going on right now. We're still gonna go back. We're gonna go to this viewpoint, check out this place one last time from above. Then we're gonna head off to this uh, volcanic land church. We'll get more into that when we get there, though. We stopped at a town, and in this town has a place called Devil's Knee. It's a park, has waterfalls. It looks like you're in freaking. Uh, it looks like you're in like the Amazon. It actually looks really cool. Just trying to find the way in, we don't know yet, but it's somewhere around here. They blocked this way off for some reason. But it looked really cool in the pictures, so that's why we stopped here. Uh, we're literally one hour away from the volcano, one hour away from the church. All, it's all right next to each other. We're going to go check that out, and we decide we're going to do that tomorrow in the morning. So pretty much our last thing today is going to be just this, and going to the, the town, that little small magical town that has like a hotel that's going to get us to the volcano. I'm beat, man. I'm actually really tired. It's been a long morning. Uh, I don't know, guys. I need my energy. Let's get it. Let's get my energy back. Let's go. Actually, never mind. My bad. We're actually at this park right here. My bad. Devil's Knee is actually a legend within the park. The park is right here. Whatever that says, that's the park I'm at. Gotta go pay. It's, it's a pretty much a dollar and 25 cents almost to come in here. So here's a story about Devil's Knee. I just found out the legend about it. Um, inside the water that we're looking at right now, it stopped flowing one day. The, the people around here got really upset. You know, it was important to them, that river. They used it for everything, their daily living. And so a priest came by to bless it, and supposedly he fell inside. And all of a sudden, the devil came out of the... or a demon came out of the water, and get this. He, he banged his knee right there where that arrow says. Do you see that indent? Let's zoom up more. Supposedly right there, that's where his knee is implanted. And then the devil, the demon, or devil, just ran away. And then all the water came back. Supposedly it's a true story. I still can't get over how the Mexican locals in the other town invited us to their house, gave us food, and then told us to come over the next morning to show us their bakery. They let us bake. Man, they were so nice. Everyone is has been treating us right here. Mexico's amazing, man, and it sucks. Like, I feel like this country is way misunderstood, and, and just people are just always judging Mexico, and I don't know, things, 
Definitely gotta change, man. These videos show you how like great Mexico actually is. I love just doing a whole bunch of different things. It's like every day is literally a different adventure, honestly. Uh, like today, I didn't think I was gonna just be in a, a small town baking, even eating my own bread that I baked. Um, I, I mean, life is so unpredictable. It's insane. This, I, I, I literally just can't get over it, how crazy it is. I cannot predict my life because like something is always topping something off and always unexpected things happen. I can't just plan something out because things just change or just happens like that. It's crazy. Apparently there's a fountain right at the end of these stairs and it's called the Fountain of Truth. Truth! Oh wait, that's not the real name? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> they're like, they like the Fountain of Truth down here. I'm like, oh, that's what it says? I'm like, yeah, and they're like, oh, okay. Hey, from down here it looks way better. Dude. What do you see? Like a hundred spiders. Do you? Look, look at Ipagos. I'm not saying I had Narnia, probably. It just like, goes all the way deep into the ground. Rawr! It, this might be one of the nicest parks I've ever walked through, to be honest. Uh, Japan has some really nice parks, but this really competes against Japan. Check this out right here. Oh guys, we can't cross there. It says no. Oh, well, hell no, I ain't crossing that. That's not what I like to do. Hell no, that's way too unsafe for me. Yo, the rain's coming down hard now. <laughs> well, we're getting soaked. <laughs> There's a bunch of rain coming down, but we're still managing. This waterfall is really cool. Look at over there, the whole thing collapsed. We're getting out of here now. We're about to head to the small town next to the volcano, get a hotel. Just got to our place right now. We're like, we're like camping right now. Camping boys. It's really cool, but the crazy thing is, we are really, really, really high up in the mountains. There's no one else here but the people who work here. It's really just us and this whole place. There's even a slide. We're gonna have to slide down that after. Um, tomorrow morning, like I said, we're gonna be going hiking. We're gonna go uh, see this volcano, maybe climb to the top. Um, we're gonna see this church. It's a spe uh, seriously, it's a special church. And um, it's in the middle of nowhere too, I think. I mean, look, you're about to see where we are right now. This is actually really cool. And But I'm so beat right now, I'm so tired. I'm, I'm, just, I'm really ending my video right here. I just wanna show you what's gonna be up for the next video. That sneak peek, man. Huh. Look at the view! We're in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, volcano's there. And before <laughs> I couldn't see the church, but there it is. Wait, 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 where's the, that's the church, right? Yeah, the volcano's over here to the left. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me zoom up in that bad boy. This church's really unique. We're gonna go over a lot tomorrow about the church. And the volcano is, yeah, right there. Damn. We'll try to hike it. Let's see what happens tomorrow on that hike, if we do end up really going through with that. Another cool thing we're gonna see tomorrow is that actually when I was passing to even get here, we had to go through a bunch of dirt roads, and we passed through one of the most legitimate Mexican uh, towns I have ever seen. Really small, in the middle of nowhere. Um, I don't even know if they have internet in, that, in the area that I'm even in. Hopefully I can get this video even edited and uploaded. But it had this really cool, sick, amazing cemetery there. We're gonna pass by it again, we're gonna stop. I'm gonna show you guys the cemetery and how their cemeteries look. It's actually really interesting. Um, and it's cool because what I noticed and what um, someone told me is that every year you have to pay for that spot. Even when you're dead, you get, you, the next family member is paying for that spot. And if you don't pay it, they dig your body up. And they put in, and they put someone else there. It's like you're paying for rent your whole life. It's really interesting. I don't even know what they do with your body when they dig it up and they put someone else there. I don't know where they where do they go unless they just cremate you. I have no idea. But all right, I'm out. You guys gotta check, stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even going to sleep yet. But I'm gonna be editing. That's what I'm doing, and then I'm going to sleep. I need some sleep. I'm be. I look tired. I didn't even do my hair. I'm just, I just woke up and left. <sighs> YouTube problems, man. Vlogging problems, daily vlogging problems. But in the end, it's all worth it. Peace out, guys.